Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Fiend Folio. Let's jump in again. The streak is popping. Absolutely popping. At the moment, I think the only thing that can take me down is either my own stupidity, which uh, playing as Tint Job here could manifest, or um, bugs, <laughs> game crashes and the like. Now, one thing that's always scary about this character is you start with very, very little HP. So we've got to be a little bit careful here. Um, I've got to not be an idiot. And that's pretty tough for me. I've got to say, that's pretty tough for me. But today, I'm playing pretty early morning, because um, as, as of now, what's this? Increased chance for energy cards to spawn. Energy cards have a chance of spawning another one on use. What the hell's an energy card? Are they the, like, um, three of th three fireballs ones and stuff like that? I think they are, aren't they? Um, but yeah, um, bit of an early one for me today in terms of recording, because I am having an incredibly early night tonight. I'm going to bed very, very early, because I'm being... What, what they call in the business a sado. Um, because the new Call of Duty is um, coming out at 5am in the UK. And I want to play it when it comes out. Directly at launch. So I'm going to get up at 5am tomorrow and play it. Which, yeah, sounds a bit sad. But I am the sort of person that plays the hell out of Call of Duty games. Because, I don't know, I really like them. Like, I say I really like them. I haven't liked the past, like, three Call of Duty games really that much. I especially didn't like Cold War. Um, but this one, I played the beta off, had a lot of fun with it, so I'm definitely going to be playing the hell out of that thing. Um, yeah. So anyways, let's carry, let's, let's just carry on going. Um, oh god, one second. I just had a little coughing fix. I found something small and black in my mouth, like a little bit of burnt something or other. Which makes no sense, because I've had Weetabix for breakfast and that's it. So I'm not really sure where that came from. Um, I'll be honest. But anyways. As for the question of the day today, what is a game that has really influenced you? What is a game that has, has really, like, carried some lessons into real life? This is kind of a tricky one, because Flatstone... Flatstone's, like, kind of interesting, because it gives you a little bit of AoE, and it gives you, um... It gives you a little bit more damage, and it has some interesting synergies, but Chili Bean... I don't know, we, we do get both, so I just don't know if I want to lock any of them in. I don't think I do. I think I'm just going to take them. Chili Bean is honestly really, really good for a zero quality item. It's not fantastic, but it can be pretty damn good. Um, but yeah, what's a game that's really influenced you? What's a game that's really had an effect on your life and like the choices you make or the way that you act? For me, I'd probably say that it's The Last of Us. Um... The Last of Us is one of my favourite games of all time in terms of story. I think it's really, really good. And I, I feel like just after playing the first game, like, it made me... It made me feel a lot more like, oh, fucking hell, we could easily die to this boss. I suck really hard at this boss. Um, But it, may, it really made me sort of think about, like, how... I, I don't really know how to best describe it. It was a lot, sort of like how I think about... The people close to me sort of thing. Because it's like, obviously the story is very heavy around, like, the the relationship between Joel and Ellie. And I, I, I don't know, it just kind of made me think of, like, a lot more about if if I lost the people close to me. Like, how would that affect my life? And um, it's definitely, definitely, like, I wouldn't say it as if I, I didn't care about the people. But it makes, you, it makes you more sort of compassionate about that and, and think about it a bit more realistically about... Oh, what, what, what would happen? You might want to, like, <laughs> take advantage while you can now, just in case, sort of thing. Yeah, I, I'm, I have to say, this is not going super, super hot right now. I'm just, I don't want to stay near the top of the screen, because he's got that, um, he's got all the falling tears. That do fall in a specific pattern. You can see the guided bits on the ground to where they fall, which someone did point out to me recently, which I'm very happy about, because I didn't actually see those before. But I'm still really bad at dodging them. But anyways, that's good. Uh, we got Golem's Orb, which is pretty darn good. I don't think anything's worth locking in yet with Deus Custodia. So I'm just going to take what we get. I I'm especially happy with the two Soul Hearts. We're going to go down regular path here, um, just because, and carry on. But yeah, I, th I think Last of Us is definitely, definitely one of those games. And But then in terms of, like, in terms of, like, impactful as in molding my childhood, I think... 
one game. Uh, well, there's, there's, there's quite a few actually. Oh, we lost Chili Bean. No way. I love Chili Bean. Um, one game that for me I, I remember playing a lot in my childhood was Star Wars Battlefront 2. I also remember playing. Are you guys okay? Um, I also remember playing a lot of a game called Penny Races and um, Gran Turismo. There's another game called RC Revenge that. I don't know. They just felt really formative in my childhood. Like s Cell Damage, Overdrive. Oh. Games like that, you just. They just give such fond memories when you think about them or when you uh, go back and play them. Um, so, unfortunately, if we if we want um, Pointy Rib, we have to get Taurus. But we do have the speed to accommodate Taurus, so I don't mind. Again, I haven't really gained anything yet that I'd consider um, something I'd want to lock in. So I'm just going to play it safe for now. Oh, really? That didn't quite reach this? Wait, this might actually. That was... I didn't realize Pointy Rib would, um, would blow that up. I need to be a little careful about that. I didn't realize Pointy Rib destroyed the... There you go. Eventually got it. Eventually got it. I really, really, really do think Pointy Rib is very good early on. But yeah, Taurus is, is decent enough. Because the thing is, we're not going to get, like, smacked by the um, inability to shoot super early on. So that shouldn't be an issue, and it will help in boss fights that end up lasting a bit longer. What on earth? I was really confused for a hot minute then. I was like, wait a minute. Do you know what would be a cool detail, though? If um, those guys could, like, burrow into a poop-based boss like this guy and um, do some do something special. Because they, they do something special with all their varieties of poop. Okay, so with pointy rib and this, that should be, yeah, pretty easy kill. Okay, I think creatine powder is the first thing we want to lock in, but prior to that, let's check our devil deal. And yeah, this is 100% something I'd rather lock in. Creatine powder is good. I very much like it, but incubus is just hugely, hugely important. So I think locking that in makes a lot more sense. Let's continue down to the next floor. And yeah, it's just... I feel like those games were really, like, formative. They... They... they influenced me a lot. I'm not saying that, like, they changed the way I live or changed the way I think or anything like that, but please don't take creatine powder. Thank you. You took pointy rib, though. You bastard. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I, there's a lot of games from my early childhood, especially, like, my PS1 and PS2 era. Like, PS1 games, um, I didn't play a ton of PS1, or I don't remember playing a ton of PS1 because I was quite young. Um, <clears throat> but... I do have very fond memories of the PS1 because I used to play that pretty much exclusively with my dad um, when I was a lot younger. Oh, that was a very bad hit by me there. <clears throat> so they, they've definitely got special memories. Um, playing Tomb Raider, Tomb Raider 2, playing the original Gran Turismo. I can't remember what other PS, uh, PS1 games we had. I think, I think we had one of the Rayman games. I think it was probably the original Rayman game. Um, and yeah, they, they were some really, really great ones. <clears throat> I remember those fondly. So th this guy, I gotta say, has got the herming shots. Be careful for him. Okay, we got some good stuff here. I'd probably like to uh, Deus Custodia um, Night. I'd like to Deus Custodia both of these, I'll be honest. Um, but Nightshade especially is really good defensively and offensively. I'm just gonna leave them there for now and charge up Deus Custodia and come back. I'm liking having our permanent incubus here. That definitely helps. Of course, we get Taurus a little bit late there. Okay, so these these are the cards. Inflicts all enemies in the room with fear. And using one can spawn another, apparently. I don't think that's super useful. I don't really know what being in this radius does to us. Fire some weird tears, apparently. Things get a little wacky. Broken syringe is pretty good. I might want to swap that out. Apologies, got a bit of cough there. Ooh. Not what I was expecting, but Krampus is not too bad. I can't remember if killing Krampus spawns two items or not. Okay, take out these fires first. Oh, I still got hit by one of them. God damn it, I wasn't paying enough attention. And then... Good. It does spawn two items. We got Head of Krampus and unfortunately Ghost Baby. Not the best, but we'll take it. I really like the uh, Head of Krampus Resprite, though. Resprites are looking real nice. 
What on earth is going on here? Um, I need a bomb and a key to get a golden bomb. That's actually a pretty good trade. But I'd rather have more keys first. There's definitely some weird lighting bugs going on right now. Or maybe it's just from that mushroom that I walked near earlier. But yeah, it'd be interesting to know from you guys what some um, what some of those games that really you feel like have changed your decision making a little bit or something. Let's go for this in case we get a soul heart or whatever. Damn it. <clears throat> right, let's fight the boss now that we've got a Krampus head charge. Didn't do a ton, but it did enough. Oh, really? He didn't charge me. I planted a bomb because I thought he was going to charge me. A little bit too quick to the draw there. And then we get two more items that are pretty good here. Bone hurting juice. Right. I think we want to lock in Nightshade. I'm pretty sure Nightshade is the is the right thing to do. I think there's just a glitch with those mushrooms in general. Like, they, they slightly tweak the lighting of the game. You can see it's messing with these as well. The water in the wall. Look. Look at that. Um, they slightly tweak the lighting of the game when you walk near them, but it doesn't return it to its normal values after walking away for some reason. That seems to be what's happened here. It should reset on the next floor, I hope. Uh, $3 bill is another one I'd love to keep, but I think we just um, take that and then, yeah, there's custody of that. Nightshade is just real good. Um, it produces little mushrooms around us that fire herming shots. Uh, sorry, little wisps around us that fire herming shots, but... Also, the damage isn't insane, but the Wisps can block shots, so it's it's defensively quite strong too. I think it's every kill that we get and it resets per room. But yeah, and the $3 bill, as long as we get to keep it, is pretty good too. I don't know how long we'll end up getting to keep it for, I'll be honest. It might not end up being that long. Okay, so it seems the lighting is still a bit bugged. Okay, we lost Taurus, we lost Glass Eye as well. It seems that it's just going to be a permanent from now on on this run. Unfortunately, that's a, maybe, maybe I'll have to report that. But yeah, I think that the Nightshade thing is, is more of a defensive option than anything else. I mean, obviously the Herming shots that it fires are pretty nice too. I'm not going to discredit that. Hey, there's the golden bombs we were looking for earlier. Um, some Fool's Gold rocks here. I don't know if maybe if I exit the run and continue, will that fix it? Let's try that out. Nope, it does not. Oh, no. My goddamn wisps are still broken. Heck. Okay, so they're not going to be as useful. Oh, wait, no, no. Okay. The ones that are created within this room function as normal. That, that's good, at least. Okay. They, they shouldn't be too much of an issue, then. Um, Bomb everything we can in this room. Why not? Booyah, baby. Oh, we've got a tinted rock over there that I don't think we can actually reach, which is a bit sad. See if we can get flight this floor from anywhere. Okay, this is the farmer dude that heals everything. We need a rubber cement as well. I love getting uh, flat stone plus rubber cement. Nice. Krampus's head is also just lovely. Especially when you get to use it in a room like this. I see you there, Mimic. Soleon of Apoleon is pretty good, and we'll take the Soul of the Lost to steal a Devil Deal at some point. <clears throat> Apologies about that. I thought it was a little raspy today. I'm having to take breaks to, to cough pretty loudly. I apologize. Okay, easy room there. We'll grab that coin in a minute. Ooh, I do love a parasite. I do love a parasite. Go back and grab that coin. I always do that. I always leave the room before the, before the coin spawns or whatever. Can, I'm just see, seeing if we can get another Deus Custodia fight, uh, fight charge before the boss. Um, because if we can... Oh, that was a good Herming shot. Because if we can, um, we'd be able to maybe lock in a free Devil Deal. That would be that would be a double whammy there. Of course, I don't want to lock in too much too early. I don't want to gain too many Broken Hearts too early on. But it's kind of worthwhile. Oh, God. Yeah, the lighting really janks up. It's weird. 
Well, I, th I think so far we've still got a pretty good, a pretty good run going, to be honest. I forgot we hadn't seen our item room either here. Um, secretion is fine. I'm definitely not going to lock it in. Stitches is probably, probably better than um, Krampus's head, to be honest. Um, let's try this out. Nun's habit could be good. <clears throat> right, let's let's try and find ourselves some more money. Uh, there's a nickel in here, apparently. Oh, it's a sticky nickel. I see. Okay, let's let's grab um, Nun's habit. Right, let's find our secret rooms because we haven't done that yet. There's one of them. Can at least grab this. <clears throat> oh god, no, don't magnetize the spicy key, god damn it. Actually, to be fair, I'm gonna take the spicy key. It's not that much damage for two keys. Um, right, and then I think what we do is we grab stitches. Which I don't think I'm gonna lock in, but I think it's still good. And then we use stitches to go into our cash room for free over here. I'll do the room adjacent to it first, though. <clears throat> Just here. Nice and easy. And then, yeah, we use stitches to get in here. Wait a minute. Line it up. See if we get anything nice. A lot of nice stuff there, actually. Then we get out. And then we also utilize it to get that tinted rock that we saw. <clears throat> and I think we keep it. I think we keep it. We don't really need Krampus's head. It's good. No, no, ah, oh, you bugger. I thought Stitches was instant recharge. It's not, is it? I should have waited to plant the bomb. Oh, well. Um, we can also go over here and grab this now. Inflicts all enemies in the room with freezing. Kind of good, but not super useful right now, considering we've got this Sword of the Lost that we want to use. <clears throat> got a secretion here that we can maybe use to get some extra damage on you. I like Secretion a lot. It's very strong. Nice. Okay. Devil Deal, maybe? We did get the Devil Deal. Uh, Cracker Jacks is fine. Old Urn is also fine. Um, we got another Soul of the Lost there. That's good. We can come in here, and this is most definitely a Soul of the Lost. Soul of the Lost. And there you go. Now we got some brimstone action going on, which unfortunately does mean that flatstone isn't doing anything. But we don't have flatstone locked in, so that's not all. That's not all too bad. I think we'll take this now as well, and I think we'll be on our way. I think we'll be on our way. <clears throat> I think free cash room entry is better than the damage we'd get otherwise. I mean, brimstone now makes it even better. Because Krampus's head is just basically brimstone. <laughs> we lose Nun's habit, which unfortunately we only just bought, and. We lose stitches anyways. But this is good because we do have the double brimstone going on right now, which is really nice. I think overall, this, is, this run's got some good stuff going on. Also, the charge plus secretion's pretty good. I will open up both of these, hoping for a key in return, but not getting one, of course. But yeah, good thing is with $3 bill, which I know isn't locked in, we're going to get some interesting synergies. I kind of wish I'd have locked $3 bill in at this point, but hey ho, you don't always get what you want. Beautiful. Copper bomb. I'm not even going to pick up a copper bomb. I've got 12 normal bombs. I'd rather not jeopardize that. So I normally I say that five um, broken hearts is my limit with this character, so we're, we're getting pretty close to that limit. We've, we've got three items locked in so far. There's another two potentially that we can lock in. And I'm guessing they will be devil deals. I don't know why that guy got light beamed. One second. Oh. Just got a major, major itch on my ear. What is it about that? Like, I don't know if other countries have this. Um, I'm sure they do. Uh, some variation. In the UK, I don't know if it's called the same thing in other countries. But in the UK, it's called Sod's Law. Um, which is basically meaning that if... Something like if something shouldn't happen, it will. Like if you're if you start if you start recording your like for me at least your, your nose itches 
or your ear itches. And it's just like, it never itches throughout the day, but then it does. Or like, you sit at home all day perfectly fine and you go out in public and get the urge to fart. <laughs> it's like, it's just, it's just called Sod's Law in the UK. Oh, damn. That was a good herming shot you got there. Okay, um... I think I go straight for my boss because I've got Deus Custodia ready. Oh, hello. This is a, a double trouble boss. I haven't had one of these in a while. And we're doing insane damage, so don't worry about it. Didn't get any devil deal here, so we can just take these as is. Grab the keys because they're going to be useful for finding... Actually, I think it would be useful to find anything. There's quite a lot of rooms I haven't seen here, so I don't want to bail on this floor quite yet. But <clears throat> I've seen all the major rooms I want to see. I mean, the shop is good, but we don't have the money for it right now. Also, Pentacles gave us double candle, which I quite like. I love pen Pentacles is an item that I just think it's it's a it's a fantastically designed item. It's like its its power is is sort of limited because for one as we just saw there the items you get are only temporary so um when you get a double of something it is only temporary you don't get it forever so that that's definitely a limiting factor but then on top of that you also have the limiting factor of it only being a chance to create one and then you have another limiting factor of not all items work when duplicated so but you can get some really interesting duplicated versions of items now, something I am... Oh, right, okay. I was I was curious to see why my um, candle was still there, because I thought my Lemmageddon Wisp got put out, but actually, it was one of my other Wisps that got put out. So these Wisps might actually keep my Lemmageddon one safe. I think it's a really, really, really well-designed item. It's got some really interesting use cases and some potential, potential insane power, but it, it's, it's all depending on... On what, what item it triggers on, what items you find, all that sort of good jazz. Unfortunately, checking out the rest of this floor wasn't really worth a damn, but we'll move onwards. Onwards and upwards. We do have a lot of bombs. We could try and find our secret room. But I'll be honest, right now, I'm not really sure where it is. Um, potentially here? There you go. I love that. My, my favourite thing in Isaac, as, as long as I've played it, my favourite thing that I have, like gained over time is just my insane ability to predict where secret rooms are i i just love it um i'll take care to play why not i just love it i can just be like mm, that looks kind of right even when i've not discovered the rest of the map i can just see a wall that looks right and get it right and i'm like yes <laughs> obviously i'm not right every single time but i've got a, i've got a knack for it now and it's it's satisfying as hell Whenever I've got the bombs or the time to, to look for secret rooms, I always do. Because I know that I can find at least, at least find the first one. The second one's a little more difficult. I'm definitely okay at finding the second one, but nowhere near as good as the first. So we lose all damage, which does not matter. And cheese. Okay, those two items were inconsequential to our run completely. So I do not care about losing either of those. The, the old urn literally doesn't do anything. Um on its own. Like, it, it just dropped runes, didn't do anything else. Hoping Secretion kills some of these guys, but we got him. <clears throat> we got him. Yeah, item room, so we might want to use our Deus Custodia here. We'll see. Oh, God. Whoa! That's why it took so long to charge. I was curious there. Oh, unfortunately, these two are... Doo doo boo boo. I'll take them both anyways, but they're, they're not good. Oh no. Crashed the game. One second. Okay, we are back in it. So this time we just gotta make sure also the map has the map has broken. I didn't realize this was a thing. Apparently when the game crashes, the map breaks really bad. <laughs> like look at this. The map is just completely wrong. Completely wrong. Right, anyways, this time, we're not going to take both of those items. We're only going to take one of them. Okay, picked the wrong one. God damn it. Okay, we go again. This time, we don't take either of the items. <laughs> 
Yeah, also my map is still hilariously broken. I don't know what that is, but apparently if your game crashes... It, oh, really? I walked right into that dude. Yeah, the game does not like it. Trying to just stand in one spot and take them all out. Just keep firing brimstones. Everything will die eventually. Okay. Just ignore the map. It's it's very wrong. Don't go into the item room there. Also, was that one of my hearts on the floor? It was. Gimme. It's going to be very hard to keep track of where we are. Because apparently we were in the ultra secret room just then. Which makes things, yeah, certainly slightly confusing. Apparently we've moved to the other side of the map now. <laughs> I've never seen this before. It's very bizarre. Oh, this is good. This is a nice room. Gotta say, I like this. World card. <laughs> so useful for us. Thank you. My goodness. Yeah. Just, just pretend we don't have a map. Oh, hello. Wasn't expecting to see you here. And my brimstone exploded on you. This is from the hallway greed mod, so you get a greed fight and then your shop if you're in the depths too. I would like that, thank you. And I would like that as well, thank you. Ooh, I really like the champion version of this dude. He's like the glowing champion look and that looks really interesting. Okay, I think this one we're just gonna have to take our L and leave. Because we've seen our shop, we've seen our item room. Let's just go. Because the game clearly doesn't know what's what's going on. Ooh, Herming. That's rather nice. I, I guess with Flatstone, Secretion is still proccing it, so it's still worth having for that reason, I guess. It kind of... I don't know why, but it kind of looks to me like Secretion should always have the Flatstone effects. It makes sense. We, we take this... This. Got a golden bomb out of it. We got bloody lust. Um. I guess. I'm going to take two bloody lusts. I don't know if taking two of them does anything good for us, but I'll do it anyways. I probably should have used Soul of the Lost on at least one of those. I realize that's a mistake, but oh well. Okay, we're going to lose the map that we just bought and one of the blue lost. See, that's why I bought two. Now we still have one. It's all fine and dandy. And apparently we have one in wisp form as well. So we got more than two anyways. Okay, I think, I think I know where I'm going here. I think we're going to go this way. I'm hoping because it looks to be the boss. I'm just praying. My god. <laughs> I love that. It's so funny. Right, this, this should be the boss. Yeah, there you go. There is a room after the boss apparently as well. So this is an XL floor by the looks of it. Yeah. Ooh, champion horseman. Certainly a little tricky. Hit once already. It's okay though. He went down pretty fast. Now that's pretty good. I'll definitely take the pony. Uh, I don't think I want to lock it in. It's definitely tempting, but I think I'll just take it as is. I unfortunately had to uninstall the, the Pony Synergies mod because it was causing some lag. Uh, no, it wasn't even causing lag, it was just causing a ton of errors in the console. I didn't know if it was messing other stuff up. But, really cool mod though, regardless. Yeah, this shouldn't be too hard. I reckon we might get hit at least one more time. But honestly, the Wisps are doing a good job of keeping us safe. As I've said before, they're really useful for just that. Pushy boy.
Hushy Boy is kind of interesting. I think we're going to do him. I think we're going to do the Hush Boy. Because there's a lot of items to gain here. And I haven't done Hush in a while. We lost Secretion, unfortunately. Only losing that, though, which is nice. We get Nugget. I don't think that has a synergy. But I'm going to try it anyways. Take that. Because that's extra damage against bosses and we're about to fight a big boss. We'll definitely take Play-Doh Cookie. And I guess we take Charm of the Vampire. And boom, 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 and boom. We got blank card there, okay. Blank card could be interesting. What card do we get over here? A strength card plus blank card? Why not? Why the hell not? Okay, it does work. Not in the way that I'd assume it would have, but it does work. Also, Play Doh Cookie with Brimstone is just the most fun. One of my favorite items to get on a run. But yeah, now we can use. Um, yeah, if, if you take a look, when we fire our Brimstone, it knocks shots coming in away from us. That's really useful, actually. We've got a slight defensive thing, and any rocks that are close to us will destroy, too. But we have $3 bill plus uh, Play Doh Cookie. I think those two. Combine pretty well with one another. And then we've also got the massive protection of all of our little wispies. There's the other item from Something Wicked that makes wisps have double HP and deal double damage. I wonder how synergistic that is with this. I'm guessing a lot. Oh, we got double nugget as well. We got two times nugget. We got a nugget wisp. It seems like it's going to take a good bit of time, unfortunately. When does the hush fight ever go by quickly? When does it ever? Look at that. That's so cool that we have like a nice little bit of defense from a basically um, accidental. I don't. I wouldn't call it accidental, but like because um, Nugget isn't really working as it's intended to. I don't think, or at least it doesn't have a, a correct synergy with Brimstone, but it's actually causing it to have some more synergy because. Now we get to knock away shots, unless that is intended, but I don't think it is. But it's nice to have a defensive part of our brimstone beams. Okay, we've got them about halfway already. That's pretty good going. Don't hurt my nugget. Don't you dare do it. Need to kill some more flies to get more uh, charges going. Unfortunately, the knocked back shots don't do any damage, I don't think. So we're not gaining anything out of that. Oh my god. I'm getting hit a lot right now. Give me my reflection, why don't you? Certainly helpful. Oh my god, gotta be careful. I do also have the Hush Fix mod installed, which basically, when Repentance came out, they bugged Hush where he can overlap his attacks. Uh, he can no longer do that anymore. Someone made a mod that fixes that. Very, very nice, because it was a, it is 100% an unintended bug. It was not something they did on purpose. Yeah, you shouldn't see him ever doing two different attacks at once anymore. Ooh, Parasite plus Nugget is... Uh, Quite something. I'd love, love, love to grab grab that as synergy. Okay. Almost done. Almost. Stop doing this bloody attack. It's a pain in the ass. But yeah, normally he can do those beams as well as other attacks. There's bullets on screen while you're dodging it, and it's just not fun at all. Right, nice one. Pretty easy kill there. We lost quite a bit of health, but I think overall we're doing fine. We unlocked the Soul Gerb there. Nice. Didn't know we didn't already have that. Right. We go up. 
The only way is up. Ah, I'm just drinking some Kirk at the minute. Oh no, we lost our horn. Oh, we lost pentacles. Devastating. Absolutely devastating. Right, good, good. We need another one of those cards that is actually useful with their blank card. Let's let's try use this one just to see if it pops out another from our trinket. Unfortunately, it did not. Yeah, the, the nugget thing, like, you can go up to rocks and just go like that, and it just destroys them all. Or not. Maybe it only works when there's enemies in the room. Seems to be the case. Don't know why that would be, but seems to be the case. All dead. Yeah, I was just about to say it seems like this is the right way, and it definitely is. Right. Boss time. Plus... Plus six damage from that. That's really nice. And this guy should go down pretty damn quick. Gotta love the rainbow brimstones though, haven't you? Just gotta love them. Someone needs to make a mod that reworks some of these bosses. I don't need them to be made like super, like a lot more difficult. But just have a few more interesting attacks. Some of the end game bosses are really poor. Like the lamb is so much more enjoyable to fight than Isaac is. Same with Blue Baby. They're both just meh. There probably is some mods out there. I'll have to have a little look-see. Nothing great so far here, unfortunately. That's good. That's good. That's good. But the rest is kind of dookie. But Lacrophage, you should be kind of interesting. We also got Conjoined Without Crashing. Huzzah! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that is. With with Nugget as well. And um, the bouncing shots. Nugget plus um, Lump of... Not Lump of Coal, whatever it's called. Skipping Stone. Really quite fantastic. Also, I think this Lacrophagy has the bug where we can deal, like, infinite damage on occasion. There's, like, a bug with Lacrophagy where sometimes it'll just deal, like, a million damage. Is that a Savage Heart there? I'll take a Savage Heart for a, a damage up that will briefly fade. Yeah, so you might see Blue Baby get literally annihilated, so be prepared for that. Just with Nugget, though, this is so powerful. I mean, the Brimstones on their own are great. Oh, I didn't even realize. I'm stupid. All the skips and hops produce nugget shots. I like it. Oh, god damn it. It's right in front of that guy. Why is my charge up time so long here? What the hell's going on? That really screwed me there. My charge up time was way too long. The hell's this? Chasm destroys all items in the room and gives the user 10% chance to deal um, 2.6 times damage. No bonuses for destroying over 10 items. What the? I don't even understand how that. What that means? Does that mean items is in like these or them? Why? I'm, I'm confused by what that means. Also, Glitch Crown. Um, does that mean that I destroy the items and it gives me a chance to get 2.6 times damage or deal 2.6 times damage to enemies that are also in the room? Because if it's also in the room, that's kind of useless. But if it's gain 2.6 times extra damage, that's very good. But I, I, I also doubt it's that because that's crazy. But it might be. I don't know. There you go. He's deadeth. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that run. That was definitely a fun one. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.